Namaste Care is a structured way of really supporting people who are living with advanced dementia. Um, it originated in the United States and the word Namaste mean, is a Hindu saying which means to honour the spirit within. And I think that really does capture what we're trying to do in Namaste. It's very difficult, even in really good care homes, to really know how to support people with more advanced dementia as part of their everyday care. And Namaste gives us a way of doing just that. Um, it means that we can bring people together in small groups with staff who understand their needs. And we can use all the sorts of um, interventions and therapies that we know really help people who are at that stage of their dementia. I realized from the many years that I spent working with people who had advanced dementia that the environment was very important to them. The environment gave them clues as to what they were supposed to do in that area. In Namaste Care, I wanted it to be a calm, loving feeling. Namaste Care is a sensory intervention, so it's really important to pay attention to all the different senses, um, both in terms of the um, different things that are used within Namaste Care, but also how people are managing to respond to those, to know what people's sensory strengths are. Lots of the activities within a Namaste Care session will be activities that will happen elsewhere within a care home, um, but the significant thing about Namaste Care is bringing all of those things together and them happening on a systematic, on a regular basis, specifically for people with the most advanced dementia, those people that are most hard to reach within your care home. Particularly you're thinking about people whose social, emotional and psychological needs aren't met in other ways, in other um, spaces in the care home. So if you uh, have somebody who doesn't have those needs met elsewhere, it'd be worth thinking about inviting them to Namaste Care. Um, we kind of do things that will um, heighten their senses. So we give them hand massages, bring in nice smelling flowers, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's a brilliant resource that we have and it's even better for the residents who, like I said, are a bit further on. We normally take the residents who are very agitated um, and are feeling a bit frustrated. Um, and also residents who, who like the more one-on-one -on -one sort of time. Um, and don't particularly like being in a big group in the lounge, in the communal lounge. We like to bring them into Namaste as well. Uh, Namaste Care is very person-centred and you, after a few sessions you get to know what some residents like and some don't, what works and what doesn't. I can see I'm making a difference and I think that just keeps you going. Namaste Care has a number of impacts on res residents, particularly on an individualised basis. So if you watch an, a Namaste session, you'll see people uh, relaxing, enjoying themselves, um, communicating with, with each other and with things around them. But we've also conducted research to see what the impact is over time. And we've pretty good evidence now to suggest that this Namaste Care improves people's quality of life and it decreases that sense of agitation that can sometimes accompany uh, dementia. And for other people, it stimulates them, so it, it perhaps helps us to reach those people who might otherwise be quite locked in to their emotional state. I think the important thing is that it almost takes people out of themselves because I think people with severe dementia can get very quiet and withdraw if you like so it's difficult to get through to them. So I suppose it's a way of reaching out to people and for them to reach out to the outside world. One of the first things we do is to get somebody to actually experience a session. We had a new nurse started last week. She's been in care for a number of years. She attended and she said she'd never seen anything or experienced anything like it. From I've been to one or two uh, these uh, sessions and they are so important. The atmosphere in there is really nice and tranquil and the whole thing is, is good. I enjoy the fact that it's a one-to-one -one situation at times where my wife Valerie has her hands massaged, which I feel is so important. The, the human touch is so important. They play games, they hear 
gentle music, push around the balloon, and it's such a wonderful thing to be doing. For Colin, when he first came out of, out of his bed into a chair, or being hoisted, he was aggressive. He would grab the girls and he would hurt the girls. If I did any, went to do anything with him, he would grab me and he would hurt me. And he doesn't hurt me now. He doesn't show me any aggression. Coming into the Masty Room every morning for quite a, a, a number of weeks, it's taken the aggression away. The impact of Namaste Care on the staff team has been really positive as well. Um, Carers will always talk about how they wish they had more time to do things and how much more they could do if they had time. Having created this time, they now can. And they're not getting called away to do all the things. They can just focus on the resident that they're delivering Namaste care to. I like doing Namaste because I love to see the, the benefits that all the residents reap from it. I mean, it's absolutely astounding to see how it just can change their day. So being able to go into Namaste for an hour, hour and a half, and just spending that really quality time with them, that's, it's, it makes your job so much more fulfilling and it's just, it's been incredible. We've seen some really wonderful results with the Namaste Care, um, some that we were hopeful to see, some that have been quite surprising, um, a reduction in sort of water infections and things like that from a health perspective. But also like we had one gentleman that would always be calling out in an afternoon and although you know it's kind of an unmet need trying to find what that is, is a different matter so you try all these different things and it doesn't seem to work. He has been um, involved in the project from the beginning and it's completely transformed him. He no longer calls out anymore and whereas before you couldn't engage with him you actually have eye contact with him now and he does engage very well. Well I really enjoy the one-on-one -on -one part of it of the day and I think the residents you know really get a lot out of it you know, make them feel really good about themselves. And I find it does really work. Namaste care is very rewarding. It's nice to see a change in the way they are. Um, and it's nice to have one-to-one -one time with them. I think it's a great privilege to do it. I mean, when you have somebody who's really frightened, but they go into a namaste room and the calm atmosphere just gets to them and they chill, that's huge. So I believe that Namaste is for the betterment of everyone, because we're reaching them and we're making a difference. But they're also making a difference to us. Namaste Care doesn't take any extra staff. Um, it's about the reorganisation of staff and involving them in doing activities rather than just an activity coordinator it should become part of a daily routine as washing and dressing somebody or assisting them with their meals is part of a daily routine for staff. What we did is that we would look at the off duty and then we would actually allocate a staff member to take responsibility um, for actually delivering the namaste care and also the staff members who would be supportive and take the residents through to make sure that, that, that namaste happened. And then the namaste carer was able to just stay in the room and welcome those residents into the room in a really nice, calm manner. Um, it could be run um, once a day or twice a day, depending on what's right for the residents and for the, that particular care home. Um, it could be run in the mornings or the afternoons, um, and it could also be uh, run in the evening as an alternative um, to help people to settle before bed. So staff have been able to take ownership of Namaste, um, and they choose and run their own sessions and what's going to be involved in those sessions. So every day could be a different day. The skills that a Namaste care worker needs to have are to be calm and patient, to be 
a skilled communicator, particularly around nonverbal communication, somebody who is able to really take their time, get to know the person, really be able to be present in the moment with that person. Somebody who is kind, caring, compassionate, respectful towards the residents, has a gentle approach. I think it's important that people are able to sit with silence and I think it's worth taking the time within a care home to find out who which of your care workers are going to be best at that role. Advice to give to care home managers starting Namaste Care would be to really encourage and praise those staff that are willing to, you know, be an advocate for Namaste and um, get involved. Attend your training sessions, go into the sessions, see the staff doing it, be one of the residents and, yeah get really involved with it. The room has a lot to do with it. It is a really special place. Then I draw the curtains and uh, put the music on, choose the music for the day or for the session and um, then switch all the various lights on and the sound effects and, and you know make sure that the plants are watered and the flowers are ready and um, and just sort of set the room like that and I do that probably and it's all ready for about 15 minutes before we get the residents in. When I start my Namaste sessions I make sure I myself are in a nice calm mind frame. Um, I'll make sure that there's adequate lighting, adequate refreshments. I'll make sure the staff know who's going to the Namaste session so they can have it all ready, so they can have minimal interruptions. When each resident arrives, I make sure I greet them in a warm, friendly, yet calm manner as well. We have our um, sensory box as well, which we have um, different items in. Um, for touch senses. When we were setting up our Namaste care room, the first thing we thought was to pick a room that was away from everywhere else, that would be nice and quiet, where we wouldn't be disturbed, um, away from the noises and the hustle and bustle in the rest of the home. Um, the first impressions of them entering the Namaste room is they're like, wow, um, this is really quiet, peaceful, lovely music. Um, they all, the, the, every time I take them in, they look forward to coming in. So communication is really important in Namaste Care but one of the things we've learned since setting it up is that verbal communication doesn't always work. Um, with the people that don't communicate verbally we still explain what we're about to do and you can generally tell from their facial expressions what they would like. Um, we might start trying to give them a hand massage and it's very easy to see then whether they would like it or whether they wouldn't like it. Namaste Care takes a strengths-based approach. So we know that um, when someone's dementia becomes more advanced, um, there's a lot more disability and a lot more difficulty with lots of different skills that are present. And sometimes that can mean for both family members and for care staff that they can uh, feel stuck and not really know how to communicate and connect with their person anymore. Um, so what we do is we try to help people to focus on what people still can do, what skills are preserved, rather than thinking about what someone can no longer do. Um, and so uh, we think about things like um, people still being able to make eye contact, um, being able to smile, being able to respond to touch, um, and we try to maximise those things as much as possible to try and promote that person's well-being. Doing the Namaste Care myself has encouraged me to do more things with my dad in that sensory way. I planted a window box for him and we put lavender in it so I can rub the lavender and give him that smell. It was a real eye-opener for me. Namaste Care teaches you how to ensure the best quality of life rather than just existing. It's made me think differently. Um, it's really important that we think about pain in Namaste Care and um, we want to make sure that people are at their most comfortable and people aren't always able to express that they're in pain um, in the ways that they might be able to if they were able to tell us verbally. So we need to pay attention to the way that somebody's sitting to their facial expressions to be able to notice any signs that someone might be in pain and be able to address that. So what we've found to be really important with Namaste Care is that the member of staff that's running the session is in the room from start to finish. So they will be in the room and what will happen is a carer will bring a resident down, generally one at a time. They'll be greeted at the door by the person who's running the session. The person who's running that session will then take them into the room, sit them down, make sure they're comfortable and seated and then they'll come to the entrance again 
we'll bring another resident down and we do that with every single resident. Um, we have some jelly balls as well, um, they're like balls within water and the residents absolutely love playing with them. They get so excited when I bring it out. Um, we have a sand pit as well, so the residents can put their feet in the sand so it feels like they're on the beach. It's really lovely. Um, everything we have in there, we've got soft cuddly animals for them to caress and touch. Touch is really important within Namaste Care and we're talking here about sort of expressive, therapeutic and, and loving touch really. Um, a way to connect with people and connect with each other. Um, so whether that's about holding hands, whether it's about putting an arm around somebody or uh, stroking their hair. Um, it's really important within Namaste Care that we don't wear gloves ever because it's about that skin-to-skin -skin contact. And it's really important when you're thinking about um, who within your home would be a good Namaste Care worker, that staff need to be comfortable with that touch, with um, connecting non-verbally with their residents. So generally the residents tend to get really relaxed during a session. Um, so towards the end of a session we might switch up the music a bit and change from relaxing music to something a bit more upbeat. We might start playing a few balloon games, chucking a few things around, blowing some bubbles. Yes, probably about 15 minutes before the end of the session. Um, we'll just go round and, you know, have a word with them all and uh, tell them it's lunchtime, they're going for their lunch, and then we'll, we'll pull the curtains back and just get them sort of all aware of the fact that they are going out and um, they're going for lunch and we'll see them tomorrow. And then the person who's been running the session will call for carers to come and collect each resident, but before they go, the person who's running the session will kneel down, have a chat to them for a couple of minutes, just make sure that they've enjoyed the session, we'll thank them for coming, and then we'll offer them something. So we might offer to take them to the lounge for lunch, or take them to the lounge for a cup of tea, so that they know that there's something inviting them to come out of the room when they leave. Honestly, it was a struggle when we first started. Um, it was very difficult to get the project off the ground in the care home um, for a number of reasons. I think it is such a busy environment. We've got so much to do as it is in a day um, that a lot of the care staff were quite against it in the beginning. Uh, Namaste Care's kept going within our setting um, because the staff have seen the benefits to the residents and they've been able to now be flexible as to who goes into the Namaste sessions. They can see that, you know, that one-to-one -one or the small group time with Namaste really benefits them. We do get people coming up to staff and saying, what's this Namaste? Can my brother, wife, husband be part of it? I think that it is singling us out as a different home with a different approach to things and that we're proactive rather than reactive. Namaste care isn't really needed for my mum now, as she's still able to take part in other activities. But it's comforting to know the care home are doing it, and there'll be something for her when she gets to that point. Some of the impacts that I've seen for family members, there's been a much more positive relationship between ourselves and, and the family members, because they can actually see... Um, what we do, whereas before it was, it's not always tangible, your interventions and your approaches and interactions with residents, you have these little times that no one ever sees, whereas with this it was actually they could see it and because they experienced the training and had some of the interventions themselves like the hand massages, that it really did help. You know, it's, it's just, it's been incredible just to see the transformation 
Yeah. I think the whole thing has been fantastic really and I'm extremely proud of the team because although it was myself that initiated it, I kind of gave the ball on so to speak and it's this team that have made it happen.